Hi everybody, Gerdy Verboert here, Dare Greatly Guiding Coach with episode 16 of the series on how to safely hike mountains or any other part of nature. So, episode 16, it is a really easy one and I would, you would think that nobody forgets about this one but um, somewhere along the way people seem to mislay this part of their gear, this part of their yeah, gear, I guess. And that is common sense. Tip number 16 is bring your common sense. And not only that, use it, please. So there's lots of stories that people that hike the mountains a lot, and especially search and rescue people, can tell you about people who forgot to use their common sense or perhaps even left it behind in the valley. Who knows? So um, uh, a good example of this is the following... Um, on one of the mountain cabins around here and there was this German guest that was had hiked up there and he wanted to climb a summit or hike to a summit uh, just behind this cabin now the people that worked in this cabin told him about the weather that was moving in it was going to be foggy and uh, it wasn't a very good idea to go hike this mountain at this particular time of day with this particular kind of weather coming in. This happens to be a mountain that is mostly boulders and it's difficult enough to navigate when the light is good. It's certainly not navigatable when the light is horrible and that is what's going to happen when the, um, uh, the, the when you can hardly see where you're going. So nevertheless not using his common sense, this man set out uh, for, the, for the summit. Now, the, man, the people manning the cabin, of course, knew that he had gone out there. And at some point, they started to worry about him. Because he should have been back. Eventually, the, uh, the main man at that cabin, the, the, the landlord, I guess is what you call him, and that is somebody who knows that mountain like the back of his like the back of his hand. He set out in search of this guest, and the weather had turned or the fog had turned so thick that even this man, who knows the mountain like the back of his hand, didn't dare go on, and he returned to his cabin to wait for the weather to improve. Next morning. People went up the mountain looking for this German guest only to find what was left of him, his remains. He had taken a wrong turn and unfortunately had fallen down the mountain. Now, not every story, of course, or not every instance um, ends with this horror scenario. Luckily, most don't. But it is not uncommon for people to make... Um, nonsensical decisions and end up in real trouble. Trouble that they have to be get, uh, gotten out of by uh, people from search and rescue. Trouble also that could have been prevented. This man didn't have to die. All he had to do was listen to the advice given to him by the people who knew the mountain. And unfortunately he decided to do to not to do so. So when you see bad weather moving in, when you get tired and you're, even though you're perhaps 20 altitude meters away from the top, when you feel you're so, when you're tired, when your legs don't really work anymore, resist the temptation, resist that uh, summit fever and realize that you still have to go down because it's on the descent that most accidents happen. It's not during the ascent it is during the descent you know bring enough gear i've run into people a mother with a young child that that, that for some reason wanted to uh, touch a glacier and as i was hike, guiding my group back to um, the restaurant down at the bottom of this um, this climb because i could see a lot of bad weather with thunder moving in I told this woman 
please and come with me turn around because we're coming back there's a thunderstorm moving in quickly and she was like no we'll be fine and the, first of all the only protection they had brought with them was one of those fold away umbrellas those mini thingies and second of all she was, that area is incredibly exposed and known for lightning strikes so that's not a place you want to be when a lightning storm is uh, coming in so most of the time nothing happens thankfully but it's not because people are using the common sense that's more luck than uh, anything else so please when you go into the mountains or any part of nature bring your common sense and don't only bring it use it as well I know a couple of people around here that work with search and rescue and I can tell you they will be very happy when you actually use your common sense as always, go there greatly. Bye-bye.